Tips Tuesday, sponsored by Tommy Carr Auto Group. Well, we're here with Dr. Stuart Anthony, the Chief Division of Adult Psychiatry for Bay State Health, talk about Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. Doctor, thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So most of us have heard of Alzheimer's, but what is it and what causes it? So it's a great question. Alzheimer's is considered a kind of dementia. And what we mean by dementia is a progressive, typically irreversible decline in cognitive functioning, often including memory and other functioning. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia. Probably two-thirds or so of the people who have dementia have Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's is characterized by the accumulation of what's called amyloid. It's a kind of a protein that basically accumulates over time in, in people's brains and ultimately causes the brain cells, the neurons, uh, to malfunction and ultimately to die. I think a lot of people, when they hear about Alzheimer's, they get scared of the word itself and, and what it could bring on. What are some of the things that people should be looking out for, whether it's for themselves or a loved one? Uh, a great question. So first of all, I, I will plug the Alzheimer's Association has an excellent website. And if you go on their website, they have all sorts of information geared towards uh, consumers to patients about those kinds of warning signs and how to discuss it with your primary care doctor. But to give you some examples, usually we see a, a decline in memory, memory for uh, recent events, recent activities. Uh, common is word-finding difficulties. People find uh, difficulty coming up with the right word or the right name of things. Uh, less ability to do everyday days of uh, activities of daily functioning, balancing your checkbook, cooking, driving, those kinds of, of functioning. Sometimes people will feel seem more withdrawn or isolated, more apathetic. Uh, sometimes people might seem more depressed, and so that's why it's important as part of the evaluation to rule out depression or other mem medical conditions that might present as memory difficulties. In your experience, what is the thing that people could do? I'm sure there's lots of things, that, but the thing that people can do to try to keep their brains healthier and avoid something like dementia or Alzheimer's? Uh, so it's a great question. I, I should tell you that the, that the most significant risk factor for Alzheimer's disease is, is age. Uh, as we've been better at prolonging people's lives by dealing with infectious disease, cardiovascular disease, uh, better control of diabetes, et cetera, people are living longer. And basically, the longer you live, the more likely you are to develop Alzheimer's or uh, other kinds of dementias. So among the important things to do are to control risk factors that might be modifiable to exercise, to control your diet, to control diabetes, to control hypertension, things like that, and to keep your brain and yourself as actively engaged both physically and mentally as possible. And now because of the uh, advent of new treatments that are specific for Alzheimer's for the first time, uh, it's, it, there are people who feel that it's particularly important to recognize what might be very early stages of Alzheimer's because if those are identified and diagnosed early enough and you're able to take advantage of some of these newer treatments, uh, you might be able to significantly alter the course of the condition. Okay, a lot of good information there. Doctor, thank you so much for the time and the education awareness. We appreciate it. My pleasure.